Okay, uh, let's see. So we are back. Now, I will admit I did. I was doing a little bit of grinding. Um, technically, do we want to do we want to do some... What do you guys think, seeing as you're hanging out in chat? Do we do some uh, turbo high-speed grinding for a bit? Or... Because I have a thing that I can do. Uh, I guess I should probably take a look at some things, because I actually... Uh, I hatched two eggs since last time, just because I had them and I wanted to take a look. So I could kind of decide what I wanted to grind. So very specifically, we've got this jerk, who is really freaking good. So this is the double-headed snake uh, that I've been fighting. And there's a very distinct reason why this asshole is so dangerous. On each hit, there's a 10% chance to trigger another hit with the same base damage. Not trigger again on double strike hits. I've got it up to a 30% chance to just get another another hit in there. On each hit. So, say if you hit an enemy three times, five times, more? Uh, that could potentially be just like a ton of hits if your RNG is really good, especially with like crits. I don't know if I want to build this guy for crits, necessarily. Interestingly enough, he's a weird debuffer tank with some like decent uh, buff stuff. But he looks like he's designed mainly so you can get every, uh, you can set everybody on fire and also poison them. And also, I don't know, he's just confusing. He also has Burning Desire. Apply a shield to the party when an enemy re receives burn debuff damage equal to 10% of each monster's max health. My question is, does that stack with Inch Noodles or not? I don't know. He also has a Poison Eater thing, which if you hit a poison enemy, you just heal. I don't know. He's confusing. And also heal for 10% of max health at the start of each turn for every poison enemy. This snake is weird, and I want to use him. I don't necessarily know who I'd use him with. He's got regeneration and channel, which is kind of nice, but uh, I don't really know. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Right, the other guy was this guy, who I named... We had uh, Sneckins, and now we've got Doggle. Doggle is very much clearly in the support side of things. Uh, healing actions apply two random buffs to the target. Multi-target heals apply one random buff to each target. Uh, so, this guy is straight up just sits there and just heals, and that's his job, which is kind of great. I wish it affected with regeneration, because he's actually one of the people... Yeah, when applying a debuff, apply, uh, gain regeneration. Also, multi-regeneration. Let's see. What is the... How much does regeneration heal? So, this guy would actually be pretty good with the thing that increases regeneration by an additional 10%. Um, he does also have combo buffing and some other things. I, he's not quite as good as I wanted, necessarily, but he's pretty dang good regardless. Oh, let's see. And then, I don't know, I was just trying to decide who I wanted to use. Because this guy has some neat moves. He's very much a, a damage dealer. He's not quite as good as as Chip, but he has a lot of bleed. And uh, ignoring like defense values. You can also multi-stack might with this guy, so it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, he's pretty good after he evolves the dragon. Wait, he evolves? Oh, shoot. Uh... Wait, do I just... Do I have the thing for him? I probably don't. Let's go double check. Ninky Naka. Heck yeah. Oh, that's why he looked slightly different. I was wondering why there was kind of like a weird proto -ver Oh my god, this is nuts. Okay, so he's got multi-regen. Let's see, you shouldn't evolve him now. should wait until post-game. You get a stronger version. Uh, I mean, I have another Ninky Egg. Let's see.
I am terrible at naming things, which is why I'm calling him Nunchuck. I don't even know if that's how you spell Nunchuck. <laughs> I don't care. Anyway, so I gotta spare one of those. Uh, so we'll evolve it. You only get the one evolve item, though. Eh. I guess what we could do here. Here's a trick I found out. I think this works. Ugh. So, as long as you alt F4, you autosave every time you enter a zone. And so I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to go back to when I warped in. So yeah, I guess we'll hold on to that. It sucks that you only get one of those. Oh, my mouse is in the way. Can I get that out of there? Yeah, there it goes. Perfect. All right, let's try that again. Yep. So we are back to where we were. In that case, though, we should probably move him to the party. <sighs> where is he? Where, where's Doggle? There's Doggle. Okay, so let's switch Doggle in, instead of Scissors. Uh, let's see, what does the, uh, what does the Stardust stuff get me? Because I've got Stardust. Who does this go for? Stardust. It just says certain monsters, which is a bit of a pain. Let's see. But yeah, so I was considering characters like Beeb, because Beeb's kind of fun. Powie was pretty good. Okay. Peter says it's because it's early access, you'll get more in future updates. Figured as much. Stardust Star is grummy. Oh, right, so I've already used that. Right, it was Magical Clay that was the confusing one. Thing is, I do actually have... I have hacks that can give me a lot more, but I don't really want to, like, tank the save file just to play around more. Anyway, I guess let's just go back here. So, we could do some turbo training. We could... Go back to, effectively, the party that I had earlier with mild changes. Because I think I want to hold on to Sneckens. Sneckens strikes me as... Effectively... Here, let's switch some guys in. Uh, Sneckens strikes me as, as a perfect replacement for Inch Noodle. Inch Noodle, Noodle is damn good, don't get me wrong. I just... He was limited in what he could do. Who's the other one that I'm missing? Oh, right. I got rid of Beetleborg. Yup. So let's go... Equipment. Uh, let's see. And Inch Noodle. Perfect. Yeah, probably just finish it. Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, I want these two to, to get better. Sneckins. Let me take a look at Sneckins' skills. So, one. Is that physical? It doesn't actually say. Oh, same base damage. So, if it's physical or ma magic. Interestingly enough, he actually has kind of a decent mix of both. He's probably a better all rounder, but almost. Well, I guess tackle is physical. Tackle does decent amounts of damage, so I should probably build him as such. So what do we got? I mean, Kunai plus three fits him decently well. Let's see. So what else should I build him for? I mean, it seems like mixed type damage debuff application. Because he's got healing. It wouldn't be terrible with crit. Let's see. Attack and magic by 3% of the max health. Regenerate mana based on hits. Because I could lightly build him for crit and crit damage. I think, honestly, the best thing I could do is actually just in increase his base stats as best as possible. Uh, 
let's see. Hack magic and crit chance. Fang seems like a good thing for him. Not so much diadem. What else do we have? Not a whole lot of all-rounder weapons in general. Sun Pendant. Defense 5, crit 5, shield self for 20 when receiving a buff. Huh. Crown is defense, health, and mana. That's not terrible. Put a crown on this, this snack. What else we got? Brooch. Defense, mana, crit chance. Helmet is defense and attack. Don't I have something on dog? Oh, it's it's just the fang. I was really hoping there would be one that was just attack and magic flat. But I'm not seeing it. Uh, well, in that case, I guess let's just... Where is... Height might not be a bad idea. Just flat increase to defense and health. I don't know what to put on Doggle. Doggle is... Check Doggle's skills. Aqua Blast is physical. Yeah, he's, so he's also kind of an all-rounder. Honestly, I might just sit on Doggle and not, not use him. Oh, wait, no, no, no. He does have Life Wave, which is a really good heal thing. Unfortunately, he doesn't give the heal shield. Recover health equal to 200% of the mana regained. Okay, so he might actually be interesting with just really hard uh, mana regen. Because honestly, he's more of a team buffer than a hitter anyway. Let's see, do we just do scroll? Yeah, that's not terrible. Half Claws, Wizard, Cestus. So Shuriken, there's the Kunai. We probably give him Kunai. So that puts his mana regen to stupid. But stupid stupid has applications. I like the idea of him just having insane self-heal as a result of high mana regen. Okay, so let's up this crown. This next got crown. And then yeah, we need Azure Gems. I'm gonna have to do some grinding. At a later date. Does oh he does have a name. Impact ring. Okay, well. So let's I guess let's just work on finishing this Sun Temple. Oh, let's see. Anything I'm missing? Not overwhelmingly. Party-wise, I'm still not entirely sure who I want to roll with. Snackins is pretty good as a fighter. Doggle's not bad as a support. It's very heavy on poison. Uh, the one problem is it, it doesn't seem like Snackins and Doggle should ever be in the same party as each other. They don't have very good overlap. Honestly, Doggle might be really good with Chip. Now, question. That's an aura. So, Doggle plus a dog. Doggle, dog, and boo. Might might be insane. So we're gonna we're gonna try that. At least for a little while. Let's let's get exploring. Uh, let's see, so before I go too much further, now that I've done all that dumb math, uh oh, it's this guy again. So we meet again, fellow traveler. This is a marvelous place, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it anywhere in the sanctuary, but I gotta say, monsters around here are pretty scary, too. Good thing my trusty Scorch has been able to fend them off so far. We've been in the watery underground areas yet. No way I'm going down there. Who knows what monsters could be hiding there? Anyway, I found some more treasure. Maybe you'll make better use of these than me. Monster bells. Use one of these monster bells. Any monsters you've recently defeated will come back instantly. 
wish you all, uh, wish you farewell once more then. But who knows, maybe our paths will cross again in the future. Scorch is the only monster in the game you can't get yet. Yeah, apparently it's based off of a pretty sweet piece of fan art. Ooh, are those weird lizard fighters? Okay, let's choose some monsters here. You know what? In retrospect, let's do Doggle, Snackins, and Dog. Let's attempt this. Okay, Snackins has support. Or, Doggle has support. Let's see, do we do Ignite? I probably should have paid attention to what they were weak to. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Works perfectly. We should probably set him on fire, though. Okay. And let's do Fire Shield. That's very expensive. That's worth it. They're on fire. Ow! At the same time, that regen is dumb. Okay, what do we want to do? Full defense would be kind of fun. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have Slime Shot. I can start working on poisoning them. Yeah, we might as well do that. Uh, let's see. Ignite that guy. Even if it doesn't do the most amount of damage. It's fine. And Jewel Blast. Which might do horrid things to this guy. Gives me a little bit of shields from burning. They're really focused on him. Luckily, we've got pretty nuts... Uh, nuts regen. We could push it further. Let's do full, full defense on him. Oh, let's see, slam shot. He hasn't been slam shotted. I think that'll just kill him. But you know what? Sometimes it's okay to just kill him. And jewel, jewel blast the dude in the back. Well, this is already working fairly well, actually. I, I was expecting this team would have some limitations, but just heavy, heavy regen leads to kind of fun things here. Let's see, Aqua Blast is 5 times 40. Yeah, let's go with it. Oh, I should have set him on fire. They resist the element they, uh, of the debuff, they resist it. Yeah, no, I, honestly, I just wasn't thinking. Not that it mattered, that was a fairly good turnout for a boss, and we get the Amori Egg. Let's take a look at one of those guys, see if they're any good. Uh, let's see, so skills, we want to grab this. Bad. Critical boon is amazing. Uh, let's see, so next up we want to do inventory, Amori Egg. Egg. Uh, let's see. What are the, uh, what are the lizards called in Zelda? Are they Stelphos? I thought Stelphos are the skeleton. Yeah, they're Lizelphos. Which is just lizard foes, kind of, sort of. Which is dumb. Uh, it's a lizard... Samurai. Name is Spizzard. I... I've just accepted that I'm terrible at naming things. Oh my god, what is this tree? What kind of hack job monster is this? Okay, so crits apply bleed. Bleed. Whenever an enemy takes bleed damage, heal all monsters in the party by 10% of the amount. Applying chill or burn. Trigger an extra hit. When applying 
a debuff. Get a random buff. Every hit is a chance to chill and burn and poison. Huh. He's not bad. He's just very strange. Kongol is one of the stronger abilities in the game. Which one's Kongol? Congeal. That could be really good if you stack chill. Huh. I'd have to find the monster le that lets me stack chill. I like the idea of him. I guess I should get that. We should we definitely need both of those. He's got he does physical fire and earth. It's all enemies. Sorry, I have to move my microphone. It feels like it's tickling my cheek or something. I'll just grab both of these. I'm not really sure how to feel about this guy. Screw chance base is 20%. That's not bad. I should grab that so we can head for congeal. It does a lot of bleed. I think I'll leave him like that. I don't, we don't have a whole lot of cold-related abilities, so I think we're just going to want to wait on that one. Oh, there's a chest out there. I just kind of flung myself into the wild blue yonder thinking there was nothing, but... I guess I'm quite incorrect on that one. Okay, so I have to time this a bit better. There we go. And we get a sunstone. Aw, oh, sweet. Time to get a sunflora. Wasn't it a sunflora? I think it was sunflora and, like, blossom and a couple other ones. It's been a while. Okay, so what are these guys weak to? They are weak to earth. Well, you know what? The combo from last time is pretty good at that. I think we had some weaknesses, but that's fine. Support. Gold drops are lowering next patch because they're too high. Really? Like money? Huh. News to me. Uh, let's see. I could do a fire shield. Let's do a fire shield to start. Might as well set him on fire. Even if it's not that great. Yeah, I... Ow! Wow! They just murked him. That's not appreciated. So note to self, look at his build a little bit. Get him a little bit more defense or something. Maybe some health. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this guy. Well, on the plus side, these guys are a little tougher than the other group. And we got regen going, so it's not so bad, but like, ugh, suck. Alright, now they're both poisoned. We have mass restor restore, so we don't need to worry about it too much. I guess, let's go for him, he's almost dead. And I don't have the multi... I do not have multi-poison yet. Can? Does Sneckins get that? I don't actually remember if Sneckins gets multi-poison. One way or another, I'm appreciating him as a as a bruiser. Like, 
up until now I've kind of had support, hybrid, and then damage dealer, but I think this is one of the first times that I've kind of had a good mix there. I should probably pop open my reward boxes. I've got a couple of those sitting around. I also have some badges I should probably use while I've got them. What the heck do cocoons do? I don't know if I've looked. Okay, uh, let's see. So one way or another. Let's level up Sneckins and Doggle. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get some of these guys closer. There we go. We might as well blast some of these out over here. Ah, uh, this bad egg. Bad egg's not terrible. And then probably Crash Castler. I don't see anything else. Not overwhelmingly. Oh, right. You know what? Damage, mana, defense. What else do we have? Probably go get some more food. Let me take a look at Sneckins. Sneckins wanted max health. Because we might as well do that. That's a decent damage output without much cost. Oh, and this gets them at level 20. So toxic feedback is good. Poison or burn damage. Chance to inflict a wound stack on them. That's really good. Let's see. Also, poison and burn debuff damage dealt is increased by 20%. I think I want to grab severe upkeep first. And then we want to get fatal upkeep. But yeah, we do not have a multi-poison on this guy. I don't think Doggle gets that either. Might be something to invest in, but eh. Let's see, so I can increase his health. What else can we do? He's pretty much good to go on this tier, so let's just up his health up. The multi-poison is fungi. Uh, Fung. Yep, there it is. I haven't looked at... I don't think I've looked at Fung at all. Since before the patch. He seems okay. A little limited on what he can do. I mean, not necessarily. He's actually kind of decent. He does multi-poison... He's got good stats. He's very good at poisoning things. I just like my dudes to be a little bit more multi-purpose than this. The Warlock wouldn't be terrible. But eh. Okay, this should be this should be fine. A verdant gem. Oh right. Ah, uh, let's see. I was going to check. So, Doggle... Doggle also kind of wants max health. We'll have to go pick up some more food then. Let's see, because I've only got so much corn. Got a couple of potatoes, though. Should have done the potatoes first. But that'll do for now. Hello! Mad Eye gets an ability to stack two stacks of every debuff once you get an upgraded one after the Sudden Palace. Ugh! Oh! That's insane! Uh, we might want to switch Boo out for that then. Okay, these guys are all weak to Earth. Honestly, choose monsters. Doggle Snackins and Dog. I, they seem to be a pretty solid combo together. The Goblin Warlock is still better, though. Yeah, I just don't like goblins.
I realize I'm prejudiced here, but still. Probably should have just gone for the hit instead, because I could have actually killed that guy in the front. Ow. Okay, slime shot. So what does Wound do? Reduce all healing they receive. Oh. So that's actually pretty good. For certain groups. Okay, who do I smack down? I'm gonna try and spread the damage just because we got debuffs to kind of hurt them instead. all honed in on dog, we'd be in trouble there. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have life wave. Perfect. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Honestly, just gonna hit him. Oh, sorry about that. I've got Nightbot on a hair trigger for Lynx. Mainly because we got uh, porn bots for a while. I don't know if this is a persistent problem across Twitch. A five star crimson gem and reward boxes, I like. Uh, yeah, like I said, don't know if it's a persistent problem across Twitch, but uh, for a while we just had people. Oh. oh. This is new. Because it's a snow area I was told about. Tell me if I miss any secret walls, by the way. Mostly Twitch chat, not YouTube. Because, like, I'm gonna be honest, anything I get, any information I get from YouTube is usually too late. Just because. Oh. Hello there! I was taking a stroll around here. Ain't the snowy peaks just the most magnificent sight in our sanctuary? Well then, how have you been doing so far? You're a Keeper Lancer now, huh? Well, I gotta admit, that's pretty quick. To be honest with you, the Snowy Peak seems calm and peaceful right now. At least I haven't heard anything yet. But hey, it's said that in the strange times, the Keeper in Need might be able to communicate with a frozen oracle. Supposedly, she could answer any question or tell you where you would need to go to find a lost object. Who knows, perhaps, if you're, uh, perhaps you're the lucky one to find her. I'm certainly not going to jump into that cold lake. That's right, the Oracle's supposed to be somewhere in the frozen lake to the uh, on the west end of the snowy peaks. Why don't you go and take a dive, see if there's any truth to those stories. Ha ha! I'll, I'll head back to the farm. Just a moment. Don't actually do anything foolish. I was just kidding around about going to the frozen lake. You know that, right? Oh god, he's going to the lake. Oh shit, I should have never said anything to that extent. Well, nice knowing you, kid. I'll... Take care of your monster for you, I guess. Oh boy. What am I gonna tell his parents? Okay, so these guys are weak to fire. Which is awesome, because I've got fire. I should probably change my party lineup so it's just kind of defaults to these guys. Anyway, so we've got Ignite. And we could do another Ignite, or we could do Firestorm. Let's do Firestorm. Because that did horrid things to them, and applied some cool buffs. Owie. Ow! Well, balls. Alright, let's apply another one of these. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna ignite him so he dies faster. And one thing I've noticed, enemies are real good at just, like, insta-giving me. The health disparity between myself and my enemies has always been a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna do full defense on that guy. Because, like, I'm pretty sure this enemy has, like, two to five times as much HP as my monsters do. I 
it's offset by the amount of damage that I can do and, like, more intelligent plays, but it's still rough. I'm very glad I buffed him because we'd be in trouble otherwise. Okay, uh, let's see. You. And do we do Ignite? Yeah. Well, I don't think I'm recruiting any of these guys anytime soon. I think I might also just be underleveled. I haven't been doing any particularly intensive grinding. Let's see. Mud Cannon. I guess we'll do Slime Shot. Let's see. Way enemy scale is an issue. For general fights, I think burst damage is just way stronger than buff and debuff teams. That's a shame for me, because I actually really like the buff debuff teams. It's so much more interesting to have like a really, really like ironclad combo. Uh, but it is definitively noticeable. When I well, I mean when that happens, and I just like get wrecked. 